here. My board members are here. And we love her because she, of our board, is the only one that made it north, so extra points for her. <laughs> <laughs> that is that dress to say on top of um, uh, Claudia uh, Pensabon, who is a gallery manager. A lot of you already know Claudia. She tries to hide. People are following her on social media now, but they already know who Claudia is. And she worked tirelessly on this band off-site exhibit uh, with the curator, Courtney, who I'm sure has many late stories about conversations with uh, Claudia. We also have some of our, and I'm actually gonna make the staff come forward as well as the board, so you literally know who they are, come up here. Claudia, come up here. Raven, Yaz. Uh, so, uh, Raven, part-time with our public programming uh, for performing arts, or sorry, Yaz is programming for performing arts. Uh, look out for the stuff that she's doing because it's next level. We usually be able to be piggledy yet together, but she's taken it to a professional standard we would not be capable of because of her own uh, understanding of that part of the sector. And Raven is uh, one of our curatorial uh, curators in residence, um, and she is an uh, overly educated, brilliant human from Montreal who took the train and raced here um, to be here. So we're really excited about this team, what it's going into. I would also be remiss tonight and acknowledge that there's a bunch of volunteers who are helping us as we're renovating the building we're in, uh, trying to make that little house into a standard museum quality. One, because we love the house and we don't want to move. We like visiting big places like this, <laughs> but we don't necessarily want to be in them long term for us to be able to do what we do at community. So Greg Colucci, uh, thank you uh, for your volunteer work as a senior principal. At Diamond Schmidt, uh, we like it when the you know the big boys play with the little people. So thank you for your time. Uh, maybe you can come and say hello, Greg, as well as Tora Wilson Cousins, who's the architect on record. Soka Design, Soka Architect, who's going to do the work. We're looking forward to um, his brilliance and maybe making him this part of the world, David Page. Uh, right. Yeah, you laughing, but yeah, those are big shoes to fill. That's those are our ambitions. Just saying. Um, our uh, conservator who's also advising us to make sure we get to a standard. Uh, Marion, thank you, and that gorgeous shawl. I have to say gorgeous shawl, and I don't know if I'm uh, I think that is it as far as the volunteers to acknowledge. If I miss someone, you can yell at me later. Um, I will hand the microphone over now. Uh, I'm gonna just say thank you to the people at TO Live who are doing some really good work around partnering with community. A lot of you probably have been in this space. I know the spoken to people who have said so. It's a gorgeous gallery. It's worth the extra Let's effort. North. Let's not lie to go north. Um, but it also hits a different audience. And a lot of us as black community folks know that our folks are in the 905 more than they're in the 4016. So it's important at times for us to come up north to this space. We're crazy excited about this exhibition. I mean, you stand in this space, you see the gorgeousness, you know why. We're also excited because Legacy in Motion, which is the organization that Courtney so bravely has founded, to look at work with the a queer uh, African uh, diasporic lens. So I'm gonna introduce him as a curator. Thank him for his exceptional choices. Quay did a lot of work, and to pick from that to this is just, please applaud him as he mm -hmm. comes up. <laughs> Statement, you know the brilliance. Here you go. I'm gonna hand him over to you. Oh, sorry. I missed the contact. Contact. Darcy, Darcy, like, are you ever gonna say something nice about me, Karen? Okay. Contact is. I mean, so we go back to Gordon Parks with contact. A lot of you know. And so, I the only thing I will say before handing it over to Darcy to bring greetings, and I'll let him throw it to Courtney is. Uh, Thank you for playing with us. Thank you for always being willing. If we, as you know, call for a little extra money to print things, so they look like this. You're like, you send the check. You never ask a question. Um, and ever since that first thing with Gordon Parks, you've always been gracious and amazing with us. You always show up for the openings. I mean, some people talk the equity talk, but you show up, so we thank you for that. Woo! Um, I'm just going to say before I can have a one page quote of speech, but I am so happy to be here tonight. I've been looking at these images. Karen and I have a $5 bet, whether it was two years ago or one year ago. I think it's two. But I've been staring at these images on the computer for two years, and to see them in person, it's just, it blows my mind. I'm 
just like what a shot. Like way to go. Like way to go, way to go. Two over there, the three boys doing a little acrobatics on the beach. Like I've been staring at that for so long, and to finally see it in person, it just, you know, it, it's just—it's overwhelming. But actually, the Malcolm series is kind of stealing my heart away. We really should have been looking at those ones earlier. Um, but really, I'm, I'm really, really like delighted to be here now. My mom's my one and a quarter page corporate speech. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 26th Annual Scotiabank Contact Fire Festival, and one of our core exhibitions here at Meridian Arts Centre, presented by BAM, the partnership of Legacies in Motion, Black Bear Archival Project, and Seal Live. I'd like to send my most sincere thanks to Karen Carter and her entire team um, for all their hard work in creating this very powerful exhibition. Tremendous thanks to our artists, tremendous thanks to our curator, Courtney, for all their dedication in creating this show. This year, we are pleased to present over 140 exhibitions and over 90 in-person events, most happening in May, something that has not happened in two years. I'd like to send my most sincere thanks to our title sponsor, Scotia Bank and Scotia Wealth Management, their support for the festival and those no boundaries. We gratefully acknowledge the support of our government funders, Canada Council for the Arts, Artworks TO, and Ontario Arts Council. And before I say thank you to Ben, I just want to say one more thing too, because she brought up Gordon Parks. So Gordon Parks was 15 years ago. So we're bringing. I, 2014. Okay, well that's like 20 years ago, isn't it? <laughs> 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 COVID years. That's what we're doing. I'm, 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 I'm terrible at plugging this. So I'm not stealing your money. Your show is just to die for. But we're bringing up um, a young artist from New York, Tyler Mitchell, who just did a show at the Gordon Parks Foundation. He's a Gordon Parks fellow. I fell in love with him a year, no, like seven months ago, and had to bring him up to Toronto. He is incredible, his artwork is incredible. Mark Seeley from Autograph in the UK is the curator. So we've got this 65-year-old man with this 25-year-old young emerging artist. They've been battling it out, and they're presenting three exhibitions of Contact this year. We're doing the Contact Gallery, um, which is installed and opened up today, and it opens next week. Uh, they're doing Metro Hall, a bunch of panels on King Street, and he's doing billboards on DuPont Street. And the work is incredible. He took a series of work that he did um, at the Gordon Parks Foundation and a show he just did at the ICP, and uh, Mark Seeley kind of beat him up got him to like work on it together. I'm going to tell Mark you keep saying he beat the artist up. And he's the one. He's the one who brought it up. You can totally tell him that. I've said worse things here. But, like, but it is, I, if you have the opportunity to come out, uh, you know, I'll treat you really well. Um, it's going to be a really amazing thing to see. And then my final words of my corporate speech are thank you, Ben, for everything. Every year present world-class exhibitions, and your contributions are really what make contact what it is. Have a lovely evening and a wonderful month of time. Okay. We know Tyler from the Beyonce shoot. We all know Tyler's work. Uh, um, and we also know that because of our showing so many brilliant black photographers, contact had to now just go get more brilliant black photographers. <laughs> We're all about making sure our people get hooked up. Uh, Courtney, would you go? Up okay. here. <laughs> Give him a round of applause.
The journey to this opening began over two years ago. Junior Harrison saw Kwesi's work and immediately knew that it had to be taken off the laptop and shared. Junior connected with Karen Carter, the artistic director at Band Gallery. Karen and Band saw the work, and Karen connected with me and offered me an opportunity to curate this show. A meeting in the backyard with Kwesi, and yes, his laptop, followed. <laughs> um, there is no here without the work of Claudia Pensa Bowen, the manager of Band. Yeah. Mm. Uh, a young woman who gets shit done and on time. <laughs> I'd like to call the name of um, my mentor and friend, Ajamu X, UK-based um, fine art photographer and archivist for his mentorship. And um, on this project and all the other projects I've done um, thus far. Um, I'd like to call the name of Carolyn McLennan, who I've known since the fourth grade. <laughs> Um, who is my punctuation and editing whisperer. Um, she casts her eyes virtual, her, her virtual red pen, on my various versions of exhibition essays. I would like to call the names, but let's not call their names, they know who they are, mm. of my family born and chosen. Um, you know who you are. Low and high key encouragement and belief in me and this work, your love and your unbelief. <coughs> Care, bless you. <laughs> Um, the curatorial committee at Band for their feedback and guidance, especially Greg Manuel, who last Sunday, along with artist Emmanuel Ashahar, um, Claudia and Karen, hands-on um, director and manager, packed, unpacked, unwrapped, and installed the works that you see here this evening. Finally, my gratitude again to Karen for her ongoing support of the vision of Legacies in Motion Black Queer Archival Project from its very first archival exhibition in the spring of 2019 called Syria at the Band Gallery in Parkdale to this show, Ona. Legacies in Motion is about sharing our black queer histories, sharing our black queer stories. One cannot look at Kwesi's photo photographic work, the images um, on the walls in this gallery and not here, as I did in the backyard of the band, a soundtrack musical or otherwise, um, musical or natural. The late night banter and Afro beats in the back of the trotro, tro, mm -hmm. the sound of the, of the surf and laughter among the Beach Boys, the tinny electronic house, or was it silence, that played as Malcolm role played and posed. Kwesi is an artist, a gifted technician, where even his blurs are beautiful. Mm -hmm. His stories suggest narratives and plots, Ultimately, Kwesi, through his body of work, is a griot, a storyteller. His emotional connection to these disparate boys and men is a through line in, this, in these moments, these photo photographic and still shorts. So, in gratitude to Kwesi for trusting and honoring me with the privilege of sharing these tales, I thank you. Wow. See, Courtney, in his own right, I mean... All I, was, all I can say is fantastic memory. Thank you all for honoring the invitation. Thank you, everyone. Like, I can't... Thank you. Thank you Aww. so much. Have you ever heard a curator speak better? No! no. Thank you.
Really? <laughs>